Their indomitable courage, inspiring initiative, and selfless devotion to duty in the face of certain death reflected great credit upon themselves and the UNSC Naval Service. They gallantly gave their lives in the service of the UNSC. Thus reads Oni's memorial for those fallen in defense of reach, a number not small by any measure, and a sacrifice not calculable by any reckoning. With the Covenant's forces focused on the continent of Epaz and winter contingency in full effect, the rest of the planet would remain in complete darkness for almost a month. But only a few weeks before this bleak outcome, Noble Five and Noble Six would lead Operation Uppercut, an effort to destroy a Covenant supercarrier by initiating a controlled slip space destabilization at close range. However, upon arrival at Anchor 9, the location where the Spartans would rendezvous with the UNSC Savannah, they came face to face with the Covenant. Armed with banshees and seraphs, the aliens unleashed a barrage of firepower against the station, but their assault would be short-lived. Noble Six would quickly and efficiently halt their efforts, turning the tables on the Covenant by leading a saber strike team against one of their nearby corvettes, what would become the UNSC's ticket to destroying the supercarrier. While Six ruthlessly culled enemies across the dark expanse above the planet, Noble Five had already worked to prepare a little care package for the Covenant, a slipspace drive which, when appropriately rigged, would create a weapon of mass destruction. Punching through the Covenant's fortifications, Noble Six boarded the Corvette, offering George and their makeshift weapon safe passage onto the vessel. With the ship infiltrated and its automated refueling system initiated, the Spartans sent the vessel on a one-way trip to the Covenant supercarrier Long Night of Solace. Unfortunately, the Corvette and the supercarrier would not be the only ones to meet their end in this act of unparalleled daring. During the battle, the Pelican and the slipspace engine took on significant damage, requiring George to stay behind to personally activate the drive. And with that realization, Noble Six was hurled back to the surface of the planet just as the Covenant's flagship tore apart. George 052 would die believing that he had just saved Reach, but mere moments later, the first signs of a full Covenant invasion force would arrive at the planet's doorstep, dwarving their previous numbers and shattering any hope of victory the UNSC had held. On August 30th, 2552, the planet's demise, which had only been rumored about till that day, finally became a reality. A Covenant support fleet larger than any ever witnessed arrived to crush Reach's remaining defenses and bring an end to the battle once and for all.